This music is all a part of another tomorrow, another kind of language. Speaking things of nature, naturalness, the way it should be. up guys peace 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 welcome to my channel so this is not going to be a 15 minutes a game because this is going to be a rather large spread i don't think i could do this in a 15 minutes um so this is going to be like a regular um collective uh tarot slash oracle reading along with some intuitive um uh messages as well okay so um this is going to be like a spread that's going to take us into this new week okay we are um approaching june uh any day now what is tomorrow the 31st so yeah we're covering basically the first first week of june and see what type of energy that's going to bring in okay so i have some uh oracle cards here tarot oracle cards and then i have the regular tarot so let's go ahead and get started guys all right we have a rather large spread all right, so first off, we got the Eight of Wands here. All right, so this is continuous flow of communication coming in, okay? So this is like, um, you know, text messages, DMs, inbox messages, emails, okay? Uh, phone calls, okay, coming in, okay? So it could be a lot of phone tag um, going on. I'm also getting tit and tat energy also with a fire sign. For some people or people that have fire in their chart, that's a lot of um, inboxes. You're going to get a lot of hit ups from people. Okay. For some of y'all, like I said, it might be fire desire department. Other times just like a, like a tit for tat uh, type of energy. So I do see a lot of engagement going on. If you guys um, are on social media platforms, you guys are like content creators um, or, you know, whatever I'm saying, like creators or whatever, uh, entrepreneurs that have social media platforms, you guys will be getting an increased um, engagement, a lot more comments, a lot more inboxes and things like that. So be sure to check your inboxes. I also see for some of you might be dealing with a tyrannical masculine energy okay that just doesn't really know what the fuck they're doing some of you guys may have may be dealing with that now it doesn't have to necessarily be like a gender thing you know male or female this is like a tyrannical masculine energy okay all right an emperor in the reverse is somebody that 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 either does not have the power or is not yielding the power the way that they should. Okay, so I do feel like if you guys have a past, and this is also an Aries card too, so if you guys have a past with a fire and desire department or Aries, I feel like there's going to be a lot of tit for tat. I feel like this person is trying to get back into communication with you. See, we still are in a Mercury retrograde in a Gemini until I believe June, mid-June, right? Almost to mid-June. So you're still going to have those buzzer beater bench woman motherfuckers they gonna be coming coming to you trying to play okay all right so now we got the the uh tree of pentacles here um i feel like this the reason why this person wants to hit you up is because they feel like they're getting set up by some people okay they may feel like they're getting set up by people um i feel like uh whatever affiliations that they may have had with with the said people may have turned on them because of their recklessness okay here with this page of wands all right, so he's looking for you. He's looking for some type of cooperation from you, okay? So for some type of support. All right, so it's up to you guys whether, you know, 
whether you want to, you know, deal with that. Okay. For others, um, I'm getting also getting an energy of uh, earthquake. Okay. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo that, um, call themselves wanting to be, um, cooperative, wanting to collab with you. Okay. On maybe on some type of business or some type of money, uh, hustle schemes, whatever the case may be. It said, I feel like the, a lot of the messages that are going to be coming in are going to be coming in from various people um, of the past here. They may not always have the best intentions here. Um, so you ha you may have um, people that you used to uh, collaborate with, work with, hang out with. Okay. It could be family members. Okay. Uh, could be former uh, lovers or things like that. Like as you can have these random type of people. See, we also had a page of wands here too. So people that you might have had um, romantic past with, or maybe they tried to be romantic with you and never really worked out. You know, never really had anything going on or whatever. You might have some body that is like that too. Um, with this page of wands, okay. And you can see that you know how pages are. Like they're just you know. They're, they're, they have a lot of, um, a lot of passion, a lot of might, a lot of audacity, but not really much, um, behind it. Okay. But like I say, it, the, the reading started off with the eight of fucking wands. So with the eight of wands, it's just kind of like you having all kinds of people just hitting you up. Like you're a fucking seven 11 or something. I don't know. And a lot of these people come from your past here. We have the six of cups here. All right. These people that are, that are trying to uh, communicate with you, you're going to have to really uh, um, use your discernment and just peep how you feel. OK, pay attention to your body and your senses. You don't have to answer any inbox, any DMs, any texts, any calls, any emails. You don't have to fucking answer that shit if you don't want to. OK, you respond when the fuck you want to respond. All right. Um, six in a reverse, meaning they're not trying to heal no relationship or heal no connection. Okay. These people are just coming around you because, uh, like whoever they was collaborating with before, it's like people already woke up to them. They already realized that they are nothing but a page. You feel me? They're nothing but a page of wands. They don't know what they're doing. Okay. They're not in the element. They don't know what they're doing. And they run it. They just, they just move very sloppily, very sloppily. Okay. I feel like with this energy here, with the six of cups in reverse, and then you, then it's followed by the four of cups up, right? I feel like a lot of you guys, um, for my divine um, femmes and masks out there, um, I feel like you guys aren't really trying, like, you, you know this energy is coming through, and I feel like you guys have been so focused on yourselves that you really, you really don't want to, like... <sighs> take anybody's cup right now. Like you, you really don't want to hear what anybody has to say. Everybody is hitting you up. Everybody's talking a good game. People want to collaborate with you. You got, you got exes that, um, want to fuck you or want an opportunity to fuck you again. Okay. You have, <laughs> you have terras the tyrannical masculine, um, type of energy, like a bratty type of fucking, um, energy, that's like, uh, basically trying to emotionally strong arm you or trying to charm you or finesse you. So you got, man, you got all these different energies, all these different people trying to hit you up. Then you got people that's trying to hit you up. Could be a wet dream as well. And they're trying to use emotions. Okay. You could be dealing with people that got water in their chart or they water signs or whatever. And they're trying to use emotions and back in the day, or, you know, nostalgia and all this bullshit. Uh, you know, let's stroll down memory lane. Like they're trying to, everybody's trying to appeal to you. Okay. Uh, and I feel like y'all just with this four of cups right here, you guys are just not even giving a fuck, right? You guys are just kind of like, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Like, yeah, I feel like you guys are tired of going through the same old shit over and over again. Okay. Look at the, the um, the devil in the reverse here, right? You've overcome, you finally got free from parasitic energies, okay? People who are parasites, people who are agent of chaos, and they fucking know that they are. Don't you think for a second they don't know who they are? They know exactly what the fuck they are, all right? They're coming to you because everything that you told them before you stopped fucking with them, everything that you told them, you ended up being right. And now nobody else want to fuck with them. So now they're circling back around, Okay. You overcame your vices, you overcame your bad habits, you overcame being a toxic codependent or just simply codependent on, on, on toxic relationships and toxic people. You have gotten rid of the parasites in your life. You've been trying to purge. I feel like a lot of you guys have been purging, purging, cleansing, purging, cleansing, whether it is a physical thing or a spiritual thing or both. I feel like you guys have went 
on mental diets. Okay. Uh, look up what mental diets are. So I feel like a lot of you guys have went on mental diets. You guys decided not to consume um, certain things. Okay. Uh, like you just don't let certain people and things grab your attention. Cause I feel like people have been wanting, I feel like people have been wanting to get your attention. Okay. They never thought people, the people of your past, right. They never thought that you would ever cut them off. And, and they thought that you were going to repeat the cycle. They don't realize that you have, have gotten them out of your system. Right. Okay. They still don't really believe it. Okay. With the seven of cups here, they are really, truly delusional. They really, really feel, as you can see, this card is looking towards this card. They really cannot believe. Okay. That you grew past them, that you have undone the chains that they've wrapped around you for years and years and years. Okay. So be, be mindful of the people that are trying to, to, um, call you, hit you up, like use your discernment. If you gotta, you know, I feel like your, your body will tell you, pay attention to your body, how you feel your sensations. I know for empaths, your, 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 or for me, your, your, you'll get like a sensation in your chest. And you'll get like this natural type of anxiety. That's what I'm feeling here with this four of cups too. When people try to, you know, deep down inside, when people are trying to um, monopolize your emotions, your time and your attention, you can feel it. And it kind of shuts you down uh, with the four of cups because you know that these people are not emotionally stable as you are. They're not emotionally mature and mentally sound as you are. So you don't even want to look what's in the cup because you know what's in the cup. You know it's been in the cup for years, okay? Boiling hot water that you can't drink. Muddy, murky-ass fucking water. So like I said, um, you're just going to be picking and choosing. I feel like you also guys, guys are having a lot of options now, okay? Even though some of the options are kind of janky, a little stanky, right? A little fraudulent. Uh, but I do feel like you guys... Um, have an option and you have a choice of what you choose. Okay. What you choose to engage in. And I feel like you guys have, your standards are a lot more higher when it comes to energy and the fact that you guys have, you guys are in the process of healing. You guys are overcoming these vices because I feel like these vices are what kept people wanting to be around you. Okay. As long as they had you stuck with the vices or y'all drink together, y'all smoke together, y'all do dirt together, y'all beat people asses together, y'all scam together, all this stuff, right? And all the things that was keeping you, all your vices, you know, your thing, your love for money, your love for, for, for lust, your love for, for, for tyranny, for causing trouble, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you guys have finally kind of just broken away from that. They didn't believe that you could. And some of these people, they're going to have a hard time believing that you did grow past them. Seven, okay? That you did um, get rid of this parasite in your life, okay? Even the parasites that you have within yourself. Because that's you, you guys had a lot in common, okay? Your shadow self had a lot in common with these people. Now that you guys are on this healing journey, you guys have overcame it. I feel like they're coming to you for a test to see if you really have gotten over them. So, all right. Now, I love this card. This has to be my favorite card in the deck here because this is the Queen of Ship Coins. Okay. So whether you're a male or a female, this is just going to be a beautiful card. Okay. The Queen of Coins. This means getting back on top of your game. Okay. Financial, you're going to be running into some money. I feel like a lot of people, just like in my intuitive mail that I shared, I feel like a lot of people know your trajectory. A lot of people have been low key reading on you. Okay. They've been low key reading on you. Okay. Like I said, in the intuitive mail, even getting your, uh, um, even trying to get with old people that you don't fuck with. All right. Uh, uh maybe spiritualists, karmic, karmic spiritualists slash divinators that, you know, may not be too fond of you and you may not even know. And they collaborating with, with your people, with the people that's, that's, that's the op. Okay. So ops are coming together. Ops are coming together and you know what I'm saying? They're uh, doing their thing. Okay. Trying to map out stuff. Okay. You see them, they're planning, mapping out things, setting things up. Okay. Trying to bring people towards your way. Okay. Like I said in the beginning, agents of chaos. Okay. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to do this. We're gonna, okay. Yeah, you do this. You do that. Okay. Yeah. You call her. You do this. Okay. Whatever. Cause she's breaking free. He or she is breaking free from us. So we got to bring out the big guns. Okay. We got to keep her distracted with the seven of cups. Okay. They see your trajectory. They see that, that you're going to be prosperous. They can no longer block you. 
Okay, now that you've overcome, overcome uh, El Diablo, they now now the money is coming. Okay, now you're gonna be doing good. You're gonna be uh, doing good as far as business and just being prosperous of the mind, body, and soul, physical prosperity, and material. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, right? So this is the card that you want to see: the Queen of Chicoins, the Boss Bitch. All right, and then. Just in perfect timing, as you're healing and overcoming everything, you've passed the test that people are throwing at you because you are going to be tested in the month of June, okay? That's for the last uh, two weeks of the Mercury retrograde. If you have been smart and you've been ducking off, you know, you are going to have people that are going to be, you know, trying to um, get into your energy and things like that. Like I said, use your discernment, okay? But... There's also something good that's coming around the bend, too. I do see that there is uh, some type of unions and reunions coming in with the lover's card. There is definitely somebody that um, that is going to confess their feelings uh, for you. Okay, somebody that you guys have been thinking about. Okay, um, and I think this is, I think it's going to come at just the right time, just when things are starting to accelerate and pick up for you and you're in this great place financially therefore you can be in a great place mentally and you're just feeling good and everything's starting to work out for you okay and these people can no longer stop you this is what's coming up for you the lovers yeah the lovers all right somebody's gonna confess they love to you somebody wants to come with you they want to join you they want to be one okay this is like a TF soulmate uh, type of energy I'm getting with this card here. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini. It could be an earth sign and a Gemini uh, coming together. Okay, an earthquake and a Gemini. Or, you know what I'm saying? Just It's just basically the lovers. Okay? Somebody's going to confess their love. Somebody, there's a reunion that's been blocked. That was, that was blocked because of some other people because of people collaborating and working against you, okay? All right, karmic masculines, past relatives, fake ass friends from fucking school. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh people are like exes, wanna be exes, you know, people that you never had nothing with and they swear up and down. You know, it's it's all kinds of people that were coming your way. Uh you were able to um cut yourself completely off from that. And you knew that it took time. You know what I'm saying? It was a process. It's a process cutting people off. You could do a cold turkey, but then you have to go through that initial first five weeks. After those five weeks, you're, you're detached. And then you have to kind of start distancing yourself from the people that are still associating with them. Because if you think that they're not running information back and forth, I don't give a fuck how cool they are with you. How neutral they appear. Use your fucking discernment, okay? These motherfuckers, they are going back and forth, back and forth with you. They want to suck your ass back in because you overcame the devil, okay? All right, so things are going to pick up for you financially, okay? Boss bitch energy. And then now that the way is clear, there's no obstacles in the way. The way has been cleared by spirit, okay? You have beat bison okay you beat bison you know the street fighter game and shit you finally beat vega you beat bison you you pass the whole fucking game all right now the love can come in you the love the union have been getting blocked here with the fool card okay i feel like this person that wants to um that wants to uh confess their love to you and and, and you know what i'm saying get back tight with you i feel like uh they had so they were coming from a distance and they had some travel issues okay um, some people could have lost their passport, misplaced their passport, uh, something that has to do with documentation, something that's stopping it. It could be so uh, like flight cancellations. Okay. It could be flight cancellations. It could be, um, you know, uh, this is the murky retrograde. So anything that could go wrong, that can go wrong could and would go wrong. Right. Okay. <laughs> so murky retrograde is where people mostly overlook things. They make mistakes. Okay. So it could be, you got on the wrong flight. They, I mean, they, that person that's trying to come to you, they got on the wrong flight. They, um, misplaced their, their passport or the passport is expired or, you know, something. Okay. They misplaced their wallet. They, you know, um, something, right? Or their luggage got lost or something. So there, I feel like this person is trying to come to you, but there is definitely some international, 
obstacles. If they're coming from another country, there's definitely some international op, um, obstacles that they may be facing. Okay, there could be like, you know, of course, with the whole, um, you know, Cerveza thing, right? There might be some, maybe for that particular country that they're coming from, okay, it might be um, some kind of like uh, tribal restrictions. So this person definitely is going to come. Just be patient. They're definitely coming and they, oh, this is the last card, y'all. They want something so much with you. They they really want everything. They want to come. Not only they want to come together and confess their love, but they actually do want to start a family with you. They've been thinking long and hard about y'all's future or whatever. And I feel like it, they couldn't have come at a better time. That when this all happens, everything's all these good things are going to all start coming in and flooding in at once. That's the reason why you guys are getting all of these distractions, okay? Don't think that people don't clock you because people be acting like they, shit, people be acting like they're not worried about you, but they be clocking every fucking asshole about you behind your back, okay? They'll go and they, they'll observe, they'll clock, watch your social media platforms and shit. See who you not get along with, who you don't, who you talk to, who you don't fucking talk to. Go follow those people, see what the fuck they saying and try to read in between some lines, all right? Trying to uh, piece together stories and stuff like that, Okay. And then they try to get readings on you and this, this, and that, all right? So, I mean, I'm just saying that you just got to vet the people that are, that are coming and hitting you up and stuff like that because some of these people know exactly what's coming for you here. And they're trying to do last-minute shit, okay? Last-ditch attempts to try to block this person from coming towards you, okay? This, this shit has been mapped out a long time ago. A long time ago to send you all kind of karmic masculine distractions, you know, motherfuckers that don't fit the bill. Okay. Trying to reel you back in emotionally and all this bullshit. You over this shit. You over it. You over it. You ready for the good shit. Cause you know, you deserve it. Right? So your sweetheart is coming through you guys. Um, and I think it's going to take some time. If there is some travel restrictions and stuff, because this person is trying to get back to you. Um, this, uh, this Empress card is, uh, also is speaks of the 28 day moon cycle. Okay. So things will straighten out in about a month. So if you do not reunite with this person or at least hear from this person within a month of June, I feel like, uh, within the next moon cycle, okay. Next 28 days. Okay. A full moon cycle spirit says there's nothing else for you to do for heat from here. This is just last ditch attempts from the ops, the karmic ops, right? But at the same time, just let things unfold naturally, okay? Spirit is saying there's nothing else that you need to do. We got you, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys have been asking your spiritual gang, gang, your angels, your ancestors for protection, and they've been shielding you and covering you because they see all these people coming towards your way, and I feel like they're going to be your bouncer on the red carpet, like right by the door, like, no, you can't, you can't get in here, okay? You can't get in here. Okay. Um, but yeah, I do feel like this person definitely wants to start a family with you. Um, I do see that like wanting to, you know, put one in you. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, and, uh, this also symbolizes too, like a uh, creation of projects, like coming together, uh, and not only just that, but like collaborating together, making money together, things like that. I feel like this is going to, I'm definitely getting power couple energy with this card. Okay. I feel like both you and your other person have both been going through the same things. Okay. Could be dealing with karmic, um, relatives and friends and what have you. Right. And could be dealing with these people that have been, that have been, how can I say, dictating their life for years, mapping out their life, dictating their life for years. You're going to get with this person. You're going to go to this school. You're only going to talk to these people because I want you to be with their son or with their daughter, like trying to plan out your whole fucking life. Okay. When you were young and you didn't know no better. Okay. And you were able to finally break free and go after the person that you really want. Okay. And uh, start a family and start projects. Okay. This ain't just about, um, pregnancy, but then it's also about like starting projects together. I feel like you guys coming together, you guys are going to be the type of people that are going to be like a power couple that are going to help other people who have been through what you've been through. So you and your person both are going through the same things. You guys are both getting hit up with mad distractions. You guys are both have been blocked for many years and you guys are just starting to get all of these blockages removed. Like the way is just starting to get clear. And this is just kind of like that last minute stuff. Okay. 
that's what I feel with this with this fool card. So spirit is saying, don't trip or whatever, don't stress out about it. This person is coming. Okay, it may take another uh, another uh, moon cycle. You've already put in the work. Okay, you've been doing the inner work. You have been cleansing yourself, protecting yourself. Uh, trying to, you've been getting over your bad habits, okay, addressing your vices and have bad habits, trying to do something about it. Like, you're really trying to grow. I really feel like some of you guys are really actively trying to grow, okay? Especially being in an environment where people think that there's absolutely nothing wrong with them and everything is everybody else's fault. You guys are actually looking within yourself and every time you're getting indicted by other people, you are actually taking it in a way that okay good i can this gives me a chance for me to cleanse myself to to rectify things to you know what i'm saying to um to address things and and finally learn something about myself and make some improvements and i feel like that's what's gonna happen here okay especially when you guys get together um you guys are going to get together and you guys are going to find a way to help other people like you other people i'm talking about the 144k you guys are going to come together and help other people. That's why everybody's trying to block this union because they know that when you guys get together, you guys are going to help other people get together. Okay? It's just going to be like a, a positive domino effect. It's going to be infectious. Once you reunite or you not, you, you unite with this with your uh, person, uh, you guys are going to start to help other people get together. And this is going to be improving the planet. All right. So here, the solitude is very important at this time. I feel like the more that you go into solitude, I feel like that's entices a lot of people to want to hit you up. Okay. This is also like the hermit card. You guys have found out a lot of truth within your solitude. When you're too quiet, I feel like people get real nervous about you when you're too quiet. Okay. Especially if you are a spiritual person, like, and you're quiet and you go into solitude, it makes a lot of people who are Decepticons, especially, it makes them very uneasy. Like, what the fuck is this bitch doing? What is this nigga doing? Y'all, you a little too quiet. You guys have found out a lot of secrets about people and they know this, okay? Which is why they keep constantly trying to get, <clears throat> excuse me, why they try to get readings and they're trying to, um, they kind of like being a little hasty, you know? You know some stuff about people, but you really don't care you know what I'm saying? If they would have caught you 10, 15 years ago, you probably would have went out your way to be like, aha, aha, aha. But you don't really care. But you are going to keep it in your mental Rolodex just in case. So you have to expect that people are going to try to heat check you. Okay? So like I said, you got a variety of people. Okay? You got a whole little buffet of people that are just bench warming, waiting to play the game with you. Okay? Waiting to tussle and, and hustle with you. Okay? All right. Um, you guys have been solid too because you guys are dealing also, uh, excuse me. You guys have also been dealing with a lot of obstacles and challenges as well. So you guys have, um, are in a, um, position here, uh, where you guys are kind of, uh, and this is a number nine here. So you guys have kind of been uh, working on trying to clear, uh, karma while you're in your solitude. You guys have been like doing a lot of reading, a lot of researching, um, diving deep into, you know, your spiritual out, your spirituality, you know, your studies and everything. You're learning more about yourself. And in the midst of that, you're also learning secrets about other people. Okay. Um, and then another reason why you guys have been alone is because you guys are dealing with a lot of certain obstacles and challenges. Okay. Uh, you know how Mercury retrograde is, okay? So a lot of things that were blocking you from working, okay, because five is about opportunity and working and traveling. So a lot of you guys have, may, may have faced um, obstacles as far as like maybe uh, mobility, uh, transportation, work, okay, being productive, okay? Things may have slowed down or halted um, during this Mercury retrograde. It was something that was unexpected, okay? So you guys have been kind of dealing with that and kind of sorting everything out behind the scenes, okay? Some shadow work that's being done as well, all right? This is also like the, the hangman as well. And you, this is, um, this Mercury retrograde kind of gave you guys, you know, an opportunity to kind of just look at things, um, from a different perspective, you guys are seeing things a lot more differently. You guys are looking at people differently. You guys are looking at the type of relationships that you guys had in the past. You're looking at that differently. And now moving forward, you want something better. And if people aren't giving you what you want, 
if people ain't giving you what you want, you're like, eh, mm, nah, I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. I'm going to just focus on my cups. I'm going to focus on what I got going on. And and you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just going to pay attention to my civility. I don't need your fucking funky ass cup coming here and contaminating my cups, you know, messing up all this is like symbolizes this to me is like, I feel like this cup symbolizes your healing and you don't want people to come in and disturb you. You don't went through everything to try to make sure that you're good. And you finally overcame the stuff that they never thought that you would overcome. So yeah, they're going to try to come test you. All right. So material and, uh, spiritual, uh, excuse me, uh, prosperity. Okay. And last but not least, the deception and envy. So that's pretty obvious. Okay. There uh, is going to be some huge changes coming through to heal your situation. Six and seven. All right. Seven is about accomplishment. Six is about healing. Come together home. So things are going to improve for you. I do see a lot of you guys are going to probably be relocating and moving 38 on the timer. Y'all going to be relocating and moving and things like that. People are going to be you know, Decepticons going to be very envious of you. So definitely keep your, your, uh, good news and all that stuff to yourself. Don't tell nobody, uh, only people that you trust, I guess, um, unless you set, you know, just wait until you settle in. Okay. All right. If you're waiting on some good news, waiting on something, don't tell nobody about your situation. Cause there are people that are really curious and they want to confirm some false reads. Okay. They want to confirm hired hex work. They want to confirm some false reads um, on you. Do not give them any clues, okay? We're still in the Mercury retrograde in Gemini. They're hoping that you have a Freudian slip and that you slip up and tell them tell them your business so that they can be like, okay, now we know how to move now, okay? She told me this. He told me that. He told me about this in this situation, and this is what happened, okay? So that confirms the work that we did right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, page of wands. Why? Magical wand, right? No, no, no. And then they know exactly. Then they can... Throw out that map and make a whole new other one. All right, these people are delusional as fuck. They feel like they feel like you. They really feel like you're gonna like repeat the same hell loop over and over and over again. You guys have let go of vices, bad habits. You guys are learning to let go of your guilt, let go of the past. I feel like you guys have also been tested a lot, um, especially when it comes to the astral realm, the dream world. Okay, seven of cups. All right. When you guys are actually traveling in the dream, I feel like you guys are definitely being offered all kinds of things up there. Uh, you guys have been seeing all kinds of different scenes and things like that. And I feel like, yeah, they're, that they're definitely trying to test you to see if you really are ready for this change. And I feel like a lot of you guys have passed that test. Um, okay. Um, so keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Uh, prosperity is coming through. Love is coming through. Okay. You don't need to do anything. Spirit says, just sit tight. I'm clearing out everything for you. Keep clearing out that karma. Keep studying, keep, you know, self-care, self-improvement, keep doing all stuff. Everything else is being worked out in your favor, okay? So be mindful of the Decepticons and people that are trying to come after your new your gains, okay? Your spiritual gains, your gifts, people trying to come for your gifts and come for your your uh your money and things like that. Trying to block your unions, okay? So just be be mindful of those people, keep them at bay, okay? So we got seven, seven. We got two sevens here, and I believe we got, yeah, we got two sevens here. We got, yeah, I think that's all the numbers that I see here. We do have six here, so the angel numbers here for these for this reading would be six six six. Okay, six six six. Okay, home, family, healing. Okay, better domestic matters. I think different scenery. I definitely feel like some of you guys are relocating. And that pretty much concludes the reading. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys up with the next video. Peace.